So today I will discuss how to run a two-way ANOVA using between subject variables. Remember that an ANOVA is an analysis of variance and is a special kind of t-test that allows us to test for multiple mean differences and determine if any of these mean differences are significant. A two-way ANOVA allows for us to determine differences between two independent variables. In this case, participants will be in conditions. More specifically, each participant will only be in one condition since both independent variables are between subjects variables. In this case, our two-way ANOVA will be a two-way between subject ANOVA for that exact reason. In a two-way ANOVA, we can not only see if the mean differences are significant, but also the interaction between the two independent variables. In this case, the effect of one independent variable may depend on the effect of the second independent variable. When discussing the two-way ANOVA, we report it as a number by number between subjects ANOVA, where the numbers represent the number of levels in each independent variable. In the example today, we will discuss a two by three between subjects ANOVA. If both of the independent variables were repeated measures, we would call it a two by three repeated measures ANOVA. If one independent variable is between subjects and one is within subjects, we would call it a two by three mixed ANOVA. So what will we be running? First, an omnibus ANOVA will be necessary to determine if any of the mean differences are significant. Unfortunately, this overall or omnibus ANOVA will not tell between which averages there is a significant difference. Thus, we will also want to run post hoc tests that will help determine exactly where the significant differences occur. Sticking with the 2 by 3 between subjects ANOVA, let's look at the data set. Here, we have three columns of data, one for each of the two independent variables and one for the dependent variable. In this case, we will have one column for gender, which has two levels, male and female. One column for education, which has three levels, high school, college, and graduate school. And last, a dependent variable, which is score for rating on movies overall. Switching to variable view, you can see that I have coded the two independent variables by clicking on the dot 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 under the values column. I have also changed the measure to reflect the type of variable, nominal, ordinal, and scale. Let's return to data view. Click on Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate. Click on the dependent variable, so in this case movie rating, and move it over to the dependent variable box using the arrow. Then, move the independent variables over to the fixed variables box, in this case, gender and education. Next, I've personally chosen to view a graph to help decipher my analysis, so I'll click on plots. And then pick one independent variable to be on the horizontal, and one to be on the separate line box. Then I will click Add and Continue. Next, I have decided that I not only want to see the overall omnibus ANOVA as we talked about, but I also want to see the post hocs. So I will click on Post Hoc, drag over the factors for each of the independent variables. Next, you will want to click on which correction you want to use. In this case, I will use Bonferroni, but each correction has its pros and cons. Then click Continue. Lastly, click OK. Now to discuss the output. First, you will see that there is a warning about gender. Post hoc tests help to determine where a significant difference of means can be found but when running an ANOVA on an independent variable with only two levels, we have already determined between which two levels there is or is not a significant difference, the only two levels we have. Thus, when looking at the ANOVA output, we will see exactly between males and females what the difference is. There's no need to run a post hoc. So the next box to look at is the test of between subjects effects. 
This is our omnibus ANOVA. This will show if there are any significant differences between means. If this ANOVA shows that there are no significant differences, then we know to not look at the post hoc tests because there is nothing to find. There is nothing significant. We can see the significant differences between means for each of the independent variables. Here for gender. And here for education. But we can also see the interaction between the two means, which is denoted as gender times education here. So does the effect of one independent variable influence the effect of another? In this case, yes. This means that the trend for the two independent variables will be different when we look at the graph. So to show this, let's go ahead and scroll down and take a look at that graph. In this case, female is denoted as blue and male is denoted as green. For those with a high school diploma, males are scoring higher than females. The same is true for those with a college degree. However, for those with a graduate school degree, the trend changes. Now females are scoring higher than males. Thus, these two variables interact to create the effect on the dependent variable. Since we see these significant differences, let's go back to the post hocs. Again, remember that there is no post hoc for gender because there are only two levels. The significant difference is between males and females, the only two levels, as indicated in the omnibus ANOVA. However, there are three levels for education, so there could be a significant difference between high school and college, but not college and grad school, or a significant difference between high school and grad school, but not college and grad school, or there could be a significant difference between all the levels of education. This post hoc will help us determine where. The significance column indicates the p-value for the significance of the difference. The mean difference column indicates the difference between the two averages that are being compared, and the confidence interval is applied to that mean difference column. Last, let's discuss how to write up this ANOVA. The omnibus ANOVA will be written up as f parentheses interaction degrees of freedom comma error degrees of freedom equals f value p-value. In this case, f of 2, 24 equals 4.35, p equals 0 0.02. To put in context, this would be explained as a significant interaction between gender and education on movie score. Next, we would report the main effects, or the differences between each independent variable without the other. There is a significant difference between males and females on the movie score, p less than 0 0.001. In this case, we will simply report the p-value indicated in the omnibus ANOVA because only two levels exist for this variable. Hence, the significance information was pulled straight from that omnibus ANOVA. We will look at the post hoc table for this last write-up. There was a significant difference between college and grad school, p less than 0 0.001, and grad school versus high school, p less than 0 0.001. And overall, that is how you run a two-way between subjects ANOVA.